When you are being interviewed for a story to be printed in a newspaper, a magazine, or an online publication, bear in mind that it could again take two shapes. It is either just you and your story, or it is a soundbite to be used in a wider story. When you are interviewed on the phone and for a short period, the journalist is almost certainly looking for a soundbite. Make sure you speak in concise, clear sentences. It is worth repeating that when someone speaks in long-winded sentences that one can hardly find a grammatical structure to, they will certainly be the nightmare to a journalist and very unlikely to be called for a repeat. This is true in TV and radio as well. I have sometimes given up and ditched the interview because I found it so time-consuming that the story wouldn't be worth its while. You are there to make life easier for a journalist and not harder. They normally have a lot on their plates, or even several stories that they have to file in a day. The story that is more difficult to write normally gets pushed back and sometimes is killed. Another thing that can make you popular with journalists is if you provide them with enough background material. Oftentimes, the journalist who is doing the story is a generalist who might have done a crime story in the morning, an economic one at lunch, and now yours. You are the expert who is meant to know the story inside and out. That means having your facts and figures down and all the nuts and bolts.